eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in the sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to 43, then 45 to 46. At that time Jesus said, the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a householder who planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season of food drew near, he sent his servants, the tenants, to get his food. And the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another, stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first and they did the same to them afterwards he sent his son to them saying they respect my son but when the tenants saw the son they said to themselves this is the heir come let us kill him and have his inheritance and they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him when therefore the owner of the vineyard comes what will he do to those tenants they said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the very stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation producing the fruits of it. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. But when they tried to arrest him, they feared the multitudes because they held him to be a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Friday of Lent to you. If I forget, my dear good listener, today I remind you that we have to say the way of the cross to remember how Jesus died for us on the cross. So kindly find some time, go to your churches or alone, although it is advisable to do it with others, to say the way of the cross, to enter into that life, that suffering, that passion that Jesus had for you and me. In the gospel we have heard, I have chosen the theme, God expects you to bear fruit. My dear good listener, Jesus tells us, that you and I have been called to bear fruits. Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. He prunes the branches so that they may bear fruit, and fruits that remain. My dear good listener, are you bearing any fruit? If Jesus were to come today, would he find you producing fruits? From the parable we have heard, the householder who owns a vineyard leases its tenants expecting them at the end of the day, end of the season, to give him his fruits. But to have heard, when he sends his servants to them to collect his due, they kill all the servants. And even when he, he decides to send his only son, they also kill him. What is Jesus saying here? Definitely with the parable, he's saying something deeper to the Pharisees, to the scribes, to the chief priests, but also to me also to you and from what we see is that Jesus categorically says therefore I tell you the kingdom of God will be taken out from you and given to a nation producing the fruits of it if you and I do not produce fruits we have nothing in common with God for God is a God who produces fruits actually Jesus to Saint Faustina says that love is a flower and mercy is its fruit. So we can never have love without fruits. 
So the fruits of love is mercy. So am I merciful? Am I producing fruits? Do my actions really say that I'm producing fruits? Do my words produce fruits? My dear good listener, Jesus says they will know you by your fruits. They will know you by your actions. Where are our fruits? My dear good listener, Jesus tells St. Faustina, in Adana number 723, the graces I grant you are not for you alone, but for a great number of other souls as well. And your heart is my constant dwelling place, despite the misery that you are. I unite myself with you, take away your misery, and give you my mercy. I perform works of mercy in every soul. The greater the sinner, the greater the right he has to my mercy. My mercy is confirmed in every work of my hands. He who trusts in my mercy will not perish. All his affairs are mine, and his enemies will be shattered at the base of my footstool. So my dear good listener, Jesus has given us many graces. But these graces are not ours alone. They are to bear fruit to help others. That's why Jesus tells St. Faustine again in number 719 in her diary. No, my child, that for your sake I grant blessing to this whole vicinity. But you ought to thank me on their behalf as they do not. Thank me for the kindness I extend to them. For the sake of your gratitude, I will continue to bless them. So my dear good listener, you are a blessing to many. But do we thank God for what he has done to us? And do we show him gratitude by producing fruits in our actions, in our words, in our style of life? My dear good listener, may we pray that we may be people who are mindful of producing fruits. Because by the fruits, they will know us. Are you producing fruits? Or you are busy wasting time in this world, yet it's just passing by. We have no time. Remember, we are physical human beings limited to space and time. Therefore, there are things we have to do now. If we don't do them now, we shall lose out. Are you producing fruits? The Lord be with you. May the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the best of this Friday of Lent and kindly share this good news with your friends, but also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not yet done so. A blessed day. For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world